Let me suggest to you that the last 10 years should be known, semi-ironically, as the people's decade in the sense of populism. Because it was a time when nationalism, particularly nationalism articulated by populist strongmen, generally got the better of the left. What are the big themes of the 2010s? I'll give you four that I think explain why Trumpism and its variants, Brexit in Britain, Bolsonaro in Brazil, there are a great many variants, why it has been so potent in the past 10 years. The first is that in the wake of the financial crisis, there was a kind of hangover, a hangover of relatively slow growth, the sluggish recovery that was such a conspicuous feature of the period immediately after 2008, 2009. There was, let's not forget, throughout that 10-year period, the recurrent threat of Islamic extremism, particularly uh, uh, in Europe, but also in North America, but most strikingly throughout the Muslim world itself, where Islamic extremist groups accounted for the overwhelming majority of terrorist attacks and terrorist victims. The third big trend of the last decade was the relative decline of the West compared with China. That really started to sink in after the financial crisis. Nobody had noticed in the boom period that followed China's accession to the World Trade Organization. There was no articulate protectionist challenging China's competition with the United States until Trump announced his candidacy. I'll add one more trend to explain the 2010s, the people's decade, the big technology companies, the dominant and most successful corporations of the last decade, in particular uh, Facebook and Google, which between them transformed the public sphere not only in the United States but throughout the Western world, in fact everywhere except in China. I don't think it's possible to imagine Donald Trump's election victory in 2016 without Facebook. I don't think one can really imagine him losing to Hillary Clinton if the technology of the election had been the same as, say, in 2008. In 2008, there was almost no role for Twitter or Facebook when John McCain took on Barack Obama. In the space of just eight years, the biggest transformation that occurred in that decade was a revolution in the public sphere as dramatic as the revolution brought about when the printing press in its modern form spread across Europe in the late 15th century. So if you think about those four things that I've just described to you, the sluggish post-crisis growth the recurrent threat of Islamic extremism, the sudden realization that China was catching up, was indeed on the point of overtaking the United States, and this transformation of the public sphere by the big technology companies, you can see that in each case, the trend was away from the global and towards the national. And that, I think, was the decisive feature of the last decade. 